So I'm coming back to this idea of, I want to finish that one point about not trusting as where women go to when they feel threatened. And so here was this woman who was basically going through, I can't trust this guy because she's in a stress state. And it's something that she doesn't really relate to being compassionate for a moment because many women are way on their male side to they can't even relate to any of the examples I give. They just think that's my husband and I'm the man and that's their reality. So if I'm over here saying, well, that's not the way you're designed to be, they feel that is a criticism. So they're very threatened by that. And they're very usually very unhappy. Most people in my experience who are in role reversal, if they look happy, they're just pretending. And basically what happens in the sheets is nothing, meaning in the bedroom, there's no attraction, there's no real intimacy. They're like brother and sister. And that's not a bad thing. I don't want to say it to be judgmental of it because histor historically, all relationships eventually went to role reversal. Because over time, men's estrogen levels naturally rise up. And over time, women's testosterone levels naturally rise up. And the only way you can, can continue to have sexual passion, which they've never had historically in our world, it is, is reality in my life. And, and many people, in some people in modern days, they can keep the passion going. Because when you look at attraction between men and women, and this is a unique Mars-Venus idea, which is... If you go to a therapist and you have no attraction in your relationship, you'll be taught that, well, you need new and different experiences. So you have date night where you go out and you do new and different things, or you go different places, take different courses. You know, these are things to stimulate newness in your life because newness in your life produces dopamine. Attraction occurs in the beginning automatically because of the newness and the dopamine. But actually what causes the attraction is dopamine has the function of stimulating testosterone in men and estrogen in women. So it's not the dopamine that creates the passion. It's just that the dopamine creates more testosterone in men, more estrogen in women. That's a polarity. And like magnets, the positive pole goes to the negative pole and they attract. If the man becomes very, very feminine over time, I mean, he's not motivated anymore. He's too passive. He doesn't have any motivation. The spark is gone in his life. That's because his testosterone has gone down and his estrogen levels will go high. And the woman, if she's basically no longer has this male energy to bounce off of and feel more feminine, like I can depend on him, I can trust him, I can get things from him. And trust is a tricky word. Trust doesn't mean you trust a man to be perfect. It means I trust him to drive the car reasonably well. 